ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to RimWorld. Welcome back. I have added a couple of mods, just as a heads up. So, for example, this menu is now different. It shows me the apparel, where everyone can equip stuff, and how they work, which is honestly really nice. I mean, let's be honest, that's really nice. Um, I've added mood at the tab, so I think blue is content. That's low minor break risk, yep. Yeah. Um, these are okay. And then there's, I think, green, which is exceedingly happy. Red, which is major break risk. Um, and also interactions have been added, so they come up with like little chat bubbles. I'm not sure on that last one at the moment, so we might remove it. But for now, I hope you enjoy the new mod list. Um, and without further ado, let's get stuck in, shall we? So, I don't know if we need one. I think one over the wall vent should do this. Uh, just to equalize these rooms out. Uh, I'm already waiting for people to finish digging out this, but I wonder how long it'll actually take us to move in. Shouldn't take us too long, should it? Let's just for now keep mining this out because I'd love to move everything over at once. Like stuff like the decoration here doesn't matter too much. It'd be good just to get you know a two by two walkway actually wouldn't around the outside first, and then we'll dig out the inside and move the other things over. Um, <clears throat> Down here, I need to work out like some sort of storage room. So I'm thinking of having this as sort of a main storage room, with the possibility to expand this way if required. And then over here, I need to include my crafting rooms. So we do need to plan that out somehow. I think if we pull that out of like that. So let's do that to start off with, like so. That's going to be a storage room, which is going to be this one. Because we are filling this up so quickly now. So we're going to dump all our stuff from here and there. And then we need to work out like these crafting rooms. We want one with two stone cutters tables. So is that that's too big almost, isn't it? That one there. So how big is that? Three by four. Right. So that would fit in there quite nicely then, wouldn't it? And we could do the same with the tailors. So we can go one. Is that the right size? That seems too small. Oh, that's going that way, three by four. So it would be one, two. Uh, okay, so that wouldn't fit in the uh, that way. But what we could then do is have then an entrance into there, like that. And then, bear with me, a same thing here. How's that five? And then how's that six? So do the same thing there, like that. I think we're onto a winner there. So move this back one, I think. Yeah. But that's what we want to do. What do you think? So then we could have the tailor's room here in the same fashion. So one there, one there, chairs back, and a light. And then we've got a lovely walkway into it, like that. We can either have two doorways or one. Personally, I'm leaning towards the two doorway option right now. For some reason, I like the look of the double doors instead of the single doors. I think it just looks nice, doesn't it? We need one there as well. So what we'll do is we'll put a granite wall in there. I'm sorry if I'm jumping straight back into this as well. I'm just, I'm honestly very excited about that. I do that. I don't know. I think I might have just done that. It's alright. There we go. The problem is now is getting all the granite. It's that. Oh, this is going to be sweet as hell when this base is done. Okay. And we're going to have the same thing here then. We're going to go for granite doors. Honestly, so so cool. It's gonna be beautiful. Our dumping stockpiles out here with our money and stuff. 
all our raw resources that we mine and things like that. Uh, I think that's everything we need. So then down here we'll have our tailor and our stone carver. What else do we need to come off of that apart from tailor and stone carver? What else relies on this sort of stuff? To be fair, stone carver isn't even this one, is it? It's more of a dumping stockpile. I guess it goes from the dumping stockpile to here, so they could go out, round, and back. Um, because we could allow chunks in this, for example. Couldn't we? Stone chunks like that. Yes, we can. And then... I mean, what else do we really want to have coming off of this main storage room? If anything. Do we even want anything else coming off of there? So we block that up like that, use it for our... For those two things. A tailor, stone carver... We're going to want, like, a, an armory at some point, but I don't think that's here. I don't think that's the right place for it. Oh, in fact, the tailor. Yeah, so the tailor might want to go through to the armory down here, for example. So the armory will have to... I will honestly have to really think about that to plan that out. Cake killer is about to break down. I think for now we should cancel that out. That it on the whole map. There's only two. There's two granite chunks on the whole map. That's insane. Okay, so we've got some granite there, which we'll set to mine. That's absolutely mind blowing to me. Huh? Did we pick up a llama? No, we picked up a boar. I thought we got a llama for some reason. No, we did pick up a boar. Um, food's good for now. So I don't think we need to bother about killing them. How are we doing? Yeah, the blight's still there. We still need to cull all the blight. Oh, blighty. Then no, I, th I think we're going to be doing okay. What's the difference between that? We need way, 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 way more granite blocks. What's the best way to... got to be a more efficient way of making blocks than I'm currently using, so I'm going to follow Craigsy very quickly while I tell him to do that. Yeah, it doesn't look like you can, other than just mining it out, which, I mean, that sucks a little bit, doesn't it? I mean, that's just me overreacting, but I think that really sucks. Oh yeah, here you go, by the way. Chat about computer games, chat about... Gazelles, <coughs> just that sort of stuff. So I added a mod that does that. A mod that does the gear and the mod that does the colours up here. Just so we can see people's mental state in the background there. And how they're doing as far as thresholds and things go. Um, that's about it. Going stone again. The most important of tasks, of course. So, care killer, currently on a miner. Miner break, okay, care, go do something else, come on. You don't have to be in here, you know? Okay, so we're going to also have to work out something to make the floor out of. So, you know, quite clearly, granite's not going to cut it, is it? So maybe sandstone. We are getting substantial amounts of sandstone come through. We've been using that for traps. Marble would be lovely. Marble or limestone. But I don't think we're going to get enough marble or limestone through to do that. Not to make it a long-term solution, anyway. Um, 
have to wait and see, but I don't think. Mine all of that away just to see if we can get an extra <clears throat> couple of bits from there. I'm going to guess not, but we'll see. It's weird, I never thought I'd want this stone junk. I've never really paid much attention to it other than it getting in the way and me having to constantly stop pilot somewhere to get rid of it, but looks like it's actually pretty useful. Okay, so in other news, back down here again, we're ready to start growing. The blight has been cleared, so. Mr. Cheese is struggling for clothes. So the devil strike. Oh, it's nice that face down the bottom. So that's one we need to, this helmet. <clears throat> to letting them down. They could also do some legs, belt. Also middle. That's insane. That's absolutely insane. How cool is this? So that one's actually legs armor. But legs on skin is different. See? Things I never would have known. Had I not got that mod. What is that? Oh, the Lynx is unconscious. Okay. To hunt mode, everybody. One, one hour. Almost there. Almost dead. Almost dead. Almost dead. Come on. Lead out, little buddy. You know you want to. Go into the light, little buddy. Come on, little buddy. Did it, did it survive? It died. Oh, okay, my car's on it. Fine. Car is reserved the carrying of this Lynx. So there we go. See? The dogs, man. They just help so much with hauling. I honestly didn't realise how useful they were until this playthrough. And that just changed everything for me. See how cool that is? I might turn off the, uh, the dialogue. Ooh, the dialogue boxes. That's the only one that so far I've been a little bit air about. Damn boomerlips. But I really like this one. I really like the gear tab. Also, I didn't realise the medical tab wasn't standard until somebody asked me what's the medical tab. I was like, oh, is this not part of the game? So once somebody pointed out, I was like, oh, okay, it's a, that's a mod I didn't realise I had. I could redo like some sort of construction big salesman so I can just grab all the sandstone and the... Maybe. Hear me out. Maybe if we remove all of this, how much... How much are we actually going to get back from that? Do we get back all of it? Who knows? So, because we could, in theory, remove all of that, for example. And then also all of that. Why don't we save first? And then we'll see how much we get back. get someone to just jump on it. Nope. So we got nothing back from those, did we? Has he got anything on him? We got nothing. Absolutely nada. So that's why I saved it. <laughs> just to avoid that huge loss of eight bricks. But that's the issue, is we're not getting that many back. And we've pretty much used up all the natural granite that was scattered around the map. Also, I need, uh, I need more followers in order to add more names, so... If you don't follow, if you're enjoying the stream, please give follow, because you can be my next, my next character now. There are no other characters that I have, uh, or no other names I'm waiting to use, so. There we go. I don't know how we're going to get more bricks then. That's going to be a struggle. We could definitely do with hauling all of these down, though. You know, if we're going to, if we're getting this strict about it. Have we got any marble? Do we even have marble on this map? So I'm not so sure we did. What's this? Oh, that's quite cool. Sandstone wall. We definitely get it when we remove those floors. Is there another thing up here? I swore there was a wall or something up here. Like an actual wall. Sunken in. It might have been somewhere like here. Maybe we already took it out. Oh, 
No, there's not there's any marble about. It's however a cougar. Okay, fine. I thought it was some, but clearly it wasn't, so. Fine, fine, fine. Maybe we could just go for wooden floors. Um, I know, you know we're not doing very well with the whole research thing as it is, but what we could do is take Mr. Cheese off everything other than cooking. Oh, we are growing, plant cut, and research. That's it. That's all she has to do, really. Cake killer. What do you need, buddy? You should go to bed. What's the pain about? I am pain. Oh, little. Oh, minor pain. It's minus five. Awful bedroom. Slept in the cold. You do sleep in the cold. I am so sorry. Let's sort that out for you as soon as we can, eh? That is important. We're going to do that right now for you, cake killer. He's right, it's 12 degrees in there, is it? You know, significantly warmer here. Oh, we could reinstall the heater actually there, couldn't we? Right in the middle. We could just get a second one, couldn't we? We should probably get a second one. Damn it. Hey, hey, hey. That'll do. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that one. Or that one. Just go for, for now we'll just go for corn and rice. I'm not too fussed about food right now, to be completely honest with you. We have so much of it, we don't know what to do with it, so. Yeah, what we really need is Mr. Cheese to get on the research. We can get solar panels, and then once we've got solar panels, we can go for um, things like auto doors. We can go for some other useful things, or tree sewing. I really want tree sewing, because then we've got permanent wood. It's a shame we can't make more or nicer wood floors, you know? But floors are surprisingly rubbish. They've got no beauty, whereas at least rock tiles have one. Gold tiles have 12, that's insane. Silver has five. We could make silver floors. Or would that be overkill? That might be overkill. Even metals would, but uh. Because silver we have an abundance of, we can always get more silver just by trading with people. Speaking of which, there's nothing we need, so we need a big trade beacon thing. We need trade beacon room somewhere around here. The orbital trade beacon. Isn't it lucky that this has happened either side of our doorway? Okay, the hawk's at a major break wrist. Ravenously hungry, why don't you go get something to eat? Relationship? Who's the, uh, the relationship? No idea, but okay. You're done digging that granite. Why? I don't get why Hawk's not eating. There's so much food. Oh, they have food poisoning. He might have had food poisoning. Yeah, we'll wait for them to come down to us. Who's Priscilla? I recognise the name Priscilla. Is that Craigsy something? Lonely. Is off the map. Is off the map. Oh, look at her, of course. Oh, God. Daughter, daughter, daughter. Dead, dead, dead. Son. Son. What? Sorry, what? <laughs> How? Um... Miss Cheese, Mr. Cheese. New Shepherds, there we go. So there's a plus 20 relationship. Therefore, you should totally do the trading. Seeing as he's the one in charge here. Oh, it's your brother. Holy crap, that's incredible. I mean, I think that's incredible anyway, but fine. Do some trading. You should get bonus from this, right? <clears throat> no idea. No idea if we get bonus from that. Sell that, sell that, sell that, sell that. Just junk that's getting in the way. Bolt action rifle I think we'll hold on to. As with the heavy SMG. In fact, we'll keep the heavy SMG over that. What do we want to buy? Do you sell... Excuse me, do you sell stone, do you sell stone blocks? <laughs> do we really do with one? Do we want a sniper rifle? Or an LMG? Hmm. 
It's a good sniper rifle. What's the damage on this? 25 with a 38% armor penetration. That's insane. What's damage on this like? 11 with 16. Alright, range. Warm up 1.8 seconds. 3.5 takes a lot longer to fire. Range 45. Range 26. I feel like we do need a long range weapon at some point for somebody. Can anybody use a charge lance? Because that's very good. Wow. Wow, that's insane. Barely any range. A 37 range. Not quite as many as the thing that's close. That's really good. Should we get that? We haven't treated ourselves for a while. We could totally do that. Sell or other junk weapons. I think we should do that. At that point, we don't need the heavy SMG anymore. Right, let's do it. So, who is our best at shooting? I kind of want to give it to Craigsy. Just for, you know, the sake of he was the original. Although Hawk is significantly better. I'll tell you, we'll give Hawk the sniper rifle when he's come round. And we'll get you to equip the charge lance. Because that is just an insane weapon. And then we've got <clears throat> what is we will haul the charge rifle in storage. And the sniper rifle as well. We'll just get them inside ready to go. So we've now got three decent weapons set around. So we've got our charge lance, which is really good. That's insane. And then we've got the bolt action, which we're going to drop in favor of the sniper rifle. Prisoner rescue. Oh, it's the sister of Hawk. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I'm sure he'd love to do that. And I kind of would. It's, it's going to be killer. Too far away, but that's not the point, is it? And we're on a power, but luckily we can we can kill that. We don't really want to kill the turret. That's the only thing that's powering is the turret. We're not going to save much power. There we go. As the wind turbines pick up, everything's going okay. Cool. These are cool. Some of these. Pollard and Rodian chatted about wearing boots. I think it's quite funny anyway. I think it's quite cool. Make that one preferred. Keep that one as normal so then all the rocks will go up there. I'm very glad to have these good weapons with us though now. Wait, Brexy, it's time. Mr. Cheese is researching! Finally! Finally, finally, finally. So, how do I. Is there a way to route all of these up to the same one without having them all explode on me? So, I could, for example, just stick a single switch in here somewhere, couldn't I? Yes, yeah, so that connects up through there. So if I stuck a switch in there, for example. So these aren't actually connected to the grid, are they? Holy balls, that's ridiculous. So let's run this down the line then like that. Let's run that straight into the middle of the base like that. Let's whack a switch in there, so at some point we can just say that's enough power for these guys and put all the power into here. And let's do the same thing going the other way as well. So let's stick a switch in, say, here in the corner. Let's stick a switch in the corner there. Actually, what are you doing right now? No, just... No, you keep doing your thing. You're doing great. You're doing great. 
already, so that stone... Do you think that one's quicker? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Just to confirm. There are eight granite chunks on the whole map. Six of them are down here. And two are there. So we've, we've literally done all the granite on the entire map. Which is... That's a lot. Orc is freaking out. Dude, eat some goddamn food. He's exhausted and starving. Right, can you... No, I don't want you to clean. I want you to give him some food. Please someone feed this man. <laughs> go to bed. Eat meal, go to bed. Do it. Go. Go, go, go. That's your problem. Jesus, man. Insane stuff. Because then what we can do is we do that one there. We can also whack stuff like solar panels in here. And still have the power going to both the old and the new base. Air quote, so to speak. I mean, so if there's an explosion and all this blows up, that's a lot of power to blow up. Disturb sleep or full brush. Everybody, go to bed. <clears throat> You're clearly all struggling. So we got cake killer on minor, pork on minor, and Mr. Cheese on major. Is that a table? Look at the food here. All right, people, let's just let's calm down a little bit. Let's everybody take a deep breath. I completely forgot about your sensory mechanites. Can we cure sensory mechanites? Oh, we've got pistols, rifles. While at this point I would love to send our people out to fight, I don't know if we're ready for that. <clears throat> you should totally equip that sniper rifle though, just in case. Or should we go for the charge rifle? I think we should go for the charge rifle. Because where we're going to place him for now is here, which I don't think is long range enough to... <gasps> no, because he can hunt down there. People try and run away. Boom, there we go. insane. We killed all those people so quickly. And we're hunting the last one down. Go on! Hillary! You're fucked. Cool. But while you're here, actually, um, I would quite like to kill that rhino. So, if you could just... You know... Also, the cougar, you know. If you could um, just, uh, you know, just hold there. I know, just there, yeah, and then just, yeah, and, th and then just, uh, yeah, yeah. Good job. And then if you could, um, just, you know, come up here, and if you could just, you know, do that, and if you, you could just, you know, do that. Okay, and you guys did very well. Good job. <clears throat> Sweet. So those weapons are powerful as hell. Yeah, we're feeling very powerful right now, and we have 5,244 silver. Yeah. So I think we could totally like wooden floor this, for example. This doesn't matter so much. It just needs to not be ugly. I think is what we're going for. All these things. We totally grab those, bring them back at some point, stock this up, once we've filled up this bit, <clears throat> and then these guys can continuously do 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 from there, while the dogs prey up from there. And the sound effects will make it, guys, it's not... Oh, we should be making so much power now with these, all four of these. I can't believe I didn't connect them to the grid, like, that seems stupid, I've just noticed that. <sighs> Does also mean we can whack a power switch in there for the... For that. God, no, let's not prioritize anything. You guys just need to chill out for a little bit. Uh, 
I think they just need to chill out for a minute. <laughs> Actually. I wonder if maybe we should theme each one, so maybe all these rooms coming off of here could be in different material. Thinking out loud, but who knows? That might be the sort of thing we go for. Also, why have I happened to Mr. Cheese on the research? Are you going for it? You are going for it, you legend. Damn, we need... <clears throat> Having said, we've now stopped with the cooking infinite, haven't we? Cook fine meals forever. So we're still set to cook fine meals forever. I think somebody else could do that. Oh, we don't have plant material, right? Yeah. Okay, so we don't have plant material for that. That's where we're lacking now. So... We should have some growing through soon. Mr. Cheese, for now, is researching, which is exactly what we need. Thank God. I don't know if they'll go back to researching after doing the whole... Thing. Oh, that was nothing we added. So, furniture. I added a mod for... Where is it? Is it furniture? Misc. Misc. A doormat. A doormat. So it will remove one layer of dirt off of somebody's feet every time they go through the door. And it should stop all this stupid, annoying dirt. Because quite frankly, let's be honest, if your shoes were that dirty in real life... You wouldn't go trudging them around your house, would you? No. You wouldn't. So why does this game insist on doing it? So there we go. Doormats. We're going to place them at points like that, just to clear people's feet a little bit. How nice is that? I've completely forgot about all the day lilies. They look so lovely. But yeah, so doormats, they're important, and we're going to... We're about to make a ton of them, basically. We've got a lot of plain leather, so it's not like we're short now. with getting rid of this hay as well. Nobody seems to want to buy hay off of us. Maybe it's just one of those pointless commodities that people genuinely don't want to buy. Oh, yay. It's nice that people are still training Makar and playing with him. After everything he's been through, he deserves it. Also, when we get some more plant matter, we're going to go for the slaughter on our... on the wild boar. I'm only go getting too attached to him. Oh my god. That thing is so deadly. That's crazy. How's Hawk doing? Hawk's on 10. You see, 10 isn't dying down. Craigsy! Hey man. How's it going? Hey, Dom. You all good? Are you enjoying it? Added a couple of mods, by the way, so since you're back. Uh, so, colour up here, depending on mood. A new screen here, floor mats, because, let's be honest, in real life you wouldn't trudge that much mud through your house. Good, man. Good. <clears throat> Are you having a good Friday night? That's the real question. Are you enjoying a Friday night? I mean, all the better now for seeing Craigsy, am I right? Seeing in-game Craigsy doing his thing. I'm sure, right? Right? There's one thing that cheers me up. It's a teaspoon and a half sugar in a tea. Playing video games late at night. That's, that's the thing. You should try it, Craigsy. Good, 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 good. Excellent doormat. Lovely. Get on here. Excellent. Good. 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 So eventually we'll put that excellent one there as well. In fact, we could do that now. Wait for them. Placing them once there. Pretty much there, all of them. So there, excellent doormat. I'm really sorry, person is going to go there. So, of course, 
I don't think it matters which way they face. I think that's just a purely aesthetic thing. It's the fact they walk over the tile makes a difference. Orc is good. Look, he's happy. I'm guessing he's lethargic after his breakdown. Cathargic. There we go. Because he still thinks he has an awful bedroom. But that's fine. That's all fine. Research has been coming along really well. So again, there were solar panels. <clears throat> I think Mr. Cheese should be doing that in a second, actually. Oh, oh, relationship status. Getting argumentative over relationships and stuff. Talking about boys. Here we go. So we're getting there with research. That's pushing up real quick. <laughs> with 540 out of 600. We should. Hopefully she'll sit down and she'll get all the way through solar panels. And then after that, Don't even know what to go for. I think tree sowing. <clears throat> we do really need to be able to plant trees. Tree sowing. Oh, we've got 220 in already. Nice. So, solar powers. Solar generators. Like so. We're going to have so much power coming in here. It's unbelievable. I so said the end game is to be able to just switch this off and leave the old base running on barely any power because it won't need much. So like these will be able to turn off, for example. These will become low priority areas. That's the end goal. So what we'll do is instead of removing like the zones and things, we'll just make them really low priority. <clears throat> They'll be overfill areas, so to speak, and these can probably become medical rooms or prisoner rooms. I don't mind. Who's idle? Oh, care killer dude, how? Why? Why did you think it was a good idea to do that? Right, since you all can clearly not be trusted to not box yourself in, we're going to have to... Or what we can do is just have him dig his way out, I guess. But that is so silly. Like, why, why would you even do that, you know? It's literally right in front of you. Go seven to this, Smith. You can get yourself out of it. I mean, he might starve to death before we actually get him out of there. I don't know why he decided that was a good idea to... No path. Yeah, yeah, he's totally... He's trapped behind that granite chunk. We're going to have to get people in there to help him. This is a huge problem now. So. You're going to have to get up. Orc's going to have to get up. Rexy is going to have to dig him out. <laughs> Yeah, the idea is I can just power everything. Um, what sort of power do you use for that? Is that solar panel? Is that... What is it? So actually, in fact, you can go all the way down to there. I don't care about all the points in between. No, 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 no. Cro 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 that one. Shot springs. Shot springs. Hot springs. Is that um is that these? The steam geysers, or is that a different thing? That one. Idiot. So we can dig a one thick wall around here now just pretty much to nice. Oh, okay, I don't know how it goes as well. Do you not have to defend them and stuff from raiders? So, because our base is all the way down here, and all the steam geysers are at the top end of the map, do we actually have enough power to do that? Oh, okay. They're, um, they're called steam geysers. But yeah, hot springs. I know what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. Hmm. Like, how easy are they to defend? Because that, that was always my biggest worry, was that I wouldn't be able to defend them after I'd built something on them. Right, let's go and start. Making these. Finally getting some granite through again. 
which is the point we filled this room up again as well. That being said, this is pretty much ready to go, I think. This room's starting to get there. We'll turn off, hold open. Oh, that one, that one, that one. And that one that's made won't be held open anyway. Raiders don't go after them. Oh, that's interesting. So do you just have to build the uh, the power collector on it? Is that it? So if we were to whack one of these on there, it would be fine? That's incredible. Okay, yeah, I might totally go for that. And then I guess I just have to put it down. Oh, that's awesome. That's so cool. Okay, I mean, that changes everything. Sweet. Look how well we're doing with all this. We're finally filling these granite walls and stuff. We've got loads of granite blocks, I'm guessing. We've got another 67, which is enough now. Sweet. So we can fill in these walls. Oh, I didn't realise that, Craigsy. That is very cool. This is going to be our uh, tree farm, basically. So we will... This is going to be a huge tree farm. One giant tree farm, eventually. Till then, swack some roses on it, just because they look nice. Huh. See, I assumed they just, raiders came to trash everything. They were going to blow through and trash everything, and loot was just a, a side product for me. If they're literally not after it at all, that is incredible. That makes me very happy. Mr. Cheese is definitely an early riser compared to everybody else. Everybody else is still in bed. And Mr. Cheese is up for it, you know? Oh, there we go. Fair play to you, Mr. Cheese. We don't need to do that. Oh, that's so cool. I mean, I'd have probably gone for that sooner. I think I could push straight for that. But I don't know. Where is that? Geothermal power, it's right there, so I could arguably go straight for that, couldn't I? And then back onto those. And have one big energy line coming down the map. So it comes straight through here into the main grid. The grid. Which would be cool. Also, by the way, we're about to completely overfill all our batteries. Very quickly there. Okay, Claire, I swear to God, if you. If you trap yourself again, I'm going to be pissed. You need to think these things through. I'm smart than this. Don't be an idiot sandwich. Oh, who was, who was it? Who was it? Who's the connection? It's Craigsy's son. Okay, Craigsy. I'm putting this one down to you. Do we save your son? He's incapable of cooking and plant work. And... If you say yes, we should save him. Also going against the uh, the thing you said about people following me. In theory, we should let him die because we haven't had anyone follow. But I let you make the decision. Do I have a son? You do. His name is me. Me, son. Son. Oh no, no, Craigsy is your son. So this is your this is your mother. Sorry, my bad. My bad. This is your mum. So do you want to save your own? Mother. That's the question. In theory, no, we should let her die. Because you said you didn't want to. You only wanted people to be saved per. Yeah? Oh, mum can die. Okay. We had it here first, ladies. Craig C. Strip her. And that's it. <laughs> Craig C, man. You're a harsh person. One hour. This is going to kill Craig's inside a little bit, isn't it? Here, he's going to have a massive shoved underneath. I can just tell. There we go, there we go. What was the minus? Minus eight. My mother died. Okay. Good job, Craigsy. <laughs> it's a hard world, I guess, you know? It's a hard, hard world.
Anyway, we should uh, probably power this at some point. Orc, are you out of things to do? You not got cleaning to do? Go. On. Where's her? Oh, for God's sake! Mission of mining. Get mining. Just mine the rock, otherwise you're going to get stuck in there and die. So... Just so many people are doing this, it's doing my nutting. I think we should forbid construction of things for now. Until... We've got all the mining done. Just that this doesn't happen anymore. There we go. In fact, you can mine that one out, and then that one. And then we'll have Hawk out of there. There we go. So we're going to forbid all that until the mining's done. So... We want at least something through here, don't we? Like this. And then we can actually start to... So we've got this done, that's enough for us to then unforbid all the walls and start making them. Boom. See, I can plan things through, I just have to really think about it. Excellent, how goes that one? Good, good, okay. Does I need this need hauling? That one does, but just that one. Not sure, granite we got left, I think we used all of it, didn't we? Yeah, granite, right, granite. Ah, oh, granite. <laughs> Okay, so, I mean, we could send people out looking for it. That would be a an actual possibility, but I don't think it's worth it. The dog noodle steel. Great is that? Okay, right. Somebody, care killer, needs to get on that. And Hawk, you need to get on to that. We'll get rid of the bodies and we'll get rid of all this excess slag. That's 260 steel really sat there. So hot in there. 60 degrees. I mean, like, he cannot be comfortable in that temperature, surely. No, 45 is his max. He's so hot, he's going to be sweating. Whew. I wouldn't blame him for being annoyed at me for putting him in there. Oh, that is a wooden spike trap. That was a wooden spike trap. There we go. Don't have any wood stored? What? Uh, now we've got a problem. The mining's coming along quite nicely as well down here. normal and then we'll set these ones to low priority that will be the goal really so like, this is pretty much ready to go i think we could is this an enclosed space no we need that one to be done next and then we need that mined out before we can actually use this okay kind of doing nothing let's um let's let him get some rest <clears throat> oh wow he's going for a fine meal lovely indeed ah oh, he's at a table nice it says eight without table. Or was that from maybe earlier on? Mr. Cheese is up in the early hours of the morning. I wonder if we do want to go unrestricted just for all of this. Maybe we shouldn't force them to sleep if they don't want to. It's not like they're going into each other's rooms or anything, is it? Mr. Cheese tried to flirt with Craig Z. Oh. How did that go? Social, crazy. Oh, oh maybe we'll. Uh, maybe they're actually going to head off. It's quite cool. It's quite cool. They've had deep talks. They've had chit chats. It's rescued. Oh, they've rescued each other. Look how many. Uh, 
family members craigsy has got. Oh, he's got a wife. Whoops. <laughs> Mr. Cheese tried to flirt with Craigsy by making an observation about practicing with spears. Craigsy did not respond. Oh, this craigsy has got a wife. Bad. Bad Mr. Cheese trying to hit on Craigsy. Care killer and Mr. Cheese, though, hate each other, so work that one out. This is going quite well now. This is going very, very well down here. We're going to leave mining out this big room tour at the end. Once we've got stuff like the kitchen done. Is the dog going to come in and haul the air? Nope. No, he's not doing anything, he's just wandering. Oh, there he goes, going for the hall now. Very good. We need to, we need to put some sort of flooring in here there and then clean it up. Also, we need to finish our researching. I want to put wooden floors in here. I'd like to put stone floors in, but I don't think we're going to have enough to make stone floors. We're not going to have enough of anything to make stone floors. I don't think. Even sandstone would be pushing it. Sound crafting, not sound crafting. Is a sound crafting, but we've got better things to do. I'm not tired yet. Go cut some more granite. Good at it, so. Let's have care killers out mining. Late at night. And we're getting way more. Getting loads of slate, considering we didn't get any granite from that whole thing. And we've already got three bits of slate from this. It's already a vast improvement. Ah, uh, so much wood. We need wood. Is that enough wood for the flooring? So that'll be enough wood for flooring in here. And in here. That's what we need to go for. Once we've done that, I'll happily open up this room. And then Craigsy needs to mine that. And then he can build that one. And then I think we're pretty much done with this. Do that one, that great blueprint. Might have gone too big on the great floor here. Yeah, each one's worth like four, so that might be a good couple hundred sunk in there. Okay, and then what we need to do is set that to low priority. That one to low priority. This one we then need to clear stuff like food from. We haven't got there anyway, it's fine. Eliminate it as we see, I guess. And then what we'll do is we'll stick zones in here, which are set at normal. So, let's whack these down a level. 12, minus 12, let's go for this one. Go for minus 12, and here we're then going to need some heaters. So we'll put a heater there, maybe. Mine a little bit so you can at least walk past it. But as we'll close these two doors. Just want to hold in that heat. From there. Let's close those doors as we pass through. We'll get a power line running into the base, so. get this one to run all the way around the outside here, and then we'll have them spread off from there. Sweet. It was nice for you guys watching me like slowly discover this game, by the way. That's basically what I'm doing right now. 
Beast Talks and you. Sorry, buddy, better things to do. That's the temperature in there. Minus 12. That one's going to be minus 12. That door, don't hold it open. Which we're going to get for a reason. A combat supplier. Boom. I look at the sandstone blocks there, need holding as well. That's fantastic. I grab these sandstone chunks as well. I think sandstone could be a a very viable option. What's that? That's limestone. What's that one? Also limestone. Limestone. Okay, so much limestone about. We could totally use some limestone. Who's our most social? Three, one, three. Two. Great, we're all pretty rubbish at social. Who is your trader? There you are. Nessa. <clears throat> You're gonna have a tough sale, Nessa. We've actually just recently bought a lot of stuff. Hmm. So there's nothing here that's better than anything we've got at all. Like, at all. Not even close. Medicine, though. I want that medicine. I think that's all I want, there's the medicine. Cool, thank you very much. Can somebody please haul oh no. Okay, next up is a stockpile zone for here. Make these ones normal priority. A lot of hauling to do around here now. Do that wall there. Just patch in that little gap. That's frozen, won't spoil. Then we need to put our butcher's tables and stuff in there, don't we? There, no, that's blocking the door. We'll put it there. We want to put the other one there. We want to move across our. Oh, excellent wooden dining chair. Wasted in the butchery, but fine. Wasted, wasted, wasted in the butchers. Put that in there. And then next, we want to go for the electric stove. We'll move one over first. And then we'll come back for the second. Okay, and also in here we want a over the wall cooler, over the wall vent that we got there. And then we're going to want a second one that equalizes out into this main area. And we're also going to want a light, a standing lamp in the corner of both rooms, like so. Okay, I think we're good. Don't hold that door open. starting to come alive over here. we finally got food stockpiles and stuff. Everything should now be being moved over. The only person we really, really don't want moving things over is Mr. Cheese, who is, I assume, cooking. And then after that, should be working on hauling. Sorry, on uh, researching. The research oh, of course, he is still chopping the stuff. Fair enough. Hopefully not too much left of this to do. Research. Yes, baby. Yes. And then we'll go for some more plants in there. The old base still we can we can plant there. This is great, we're just turning up so much power. Even with just our solar panels, we're making enough power to fill everything up and power everything. Which is pretty good. I think it's pretty good anyway. I don't know what the ideal temperature is for these batteries. Very cool. Should now follow him. Yeah.
just had a quick Google and it looks like no matter what you're always at 50% efficiency on batteries so almost seems like a pointless fact I guess or maybe they're just trying to let the viewer uh, sorry the player know what's going on or the viewer the player know what's going on so I don't know maybe maybe right let's check temperatures here so this is all 21 in this area fine that's quite hot back here um, and here it's even a little bit warm and in these rooms it's minus numbers that one's struggling but can't uh, that's slowly going to lose temperature isn't it so what we'll do is we will destroy that one build two hopefully that'll make a difference maybe if we even make this room colder like that maybe that'll drag that one down that's all I can hope really Offering safety. How about we cancel that? We don't deconstruct it yet, we just build the third one, so. Yeah, that's a little bit better. That now appears to be catching up. These three have got three open vents all the way through, so it's pretty much an open wall an open wall through. And it's hanging about that number. In fact this one's even struggling to fight the, the heat off which is incredible considering we've got two in there, maybe it's the size of the room, I don't know. And we got minus 15, minus 15, yeah. We'll get another one in there, we'll set that one to minus 15 as well. And I think after that we should be doing a decent job of maintaining temperature. The new base now has its first area, that's, that's kind of the important bit here. Need to finish this off. I'd probably need to finish this off before I go anyway. Minus 15. Minus 15, minus 15, minus 15. Boom. And then that should now easily be minus 15. Why is it flickering between six? It's equalizing here, maybe. Make a difference if we've got one or three fans, do you think? Maybe instead we'll just um, we'll close them. But let's see if that actually makes a difference. No. We'll be picking up no refugees now. Gotta save ourselves here. We well, gotta look after ourselves first, no? blocks is it but will do <laughs> I think I might have a problem for granite blocks I'm not gonna lie I just I might have an issue for it now I have an addiction <clears throat> these will burn out way before they get to us and even if they don't burn out it will rain soon it always rains after a lightning storm there we go always always it's just a temporary thing those fires luckily this actually cooking meals in the new base now did that copy over it did it copied everything lovely oh heat wave damn okay so that should soon I guess stop worrying about <laughs> turning on because it's about to get hot we need some coolers in here instead what we could do is if it does start to get that hot we could just for example hold those open just to let the air flow through from here all the way out. Should 
should bring down the temperature in here. We'll designate that to turn off as well. There we go, the temperature should start to it might seem crazy dragging down the temperature in here, but it leaving out as they walk through the doors and stuff, so it's all good. Don't hold the doors open, man. Okay. Going great. This is all okay so far. I don't see too many issues. The move is starting to happen. We're collecting food and things, so I think it's going well. Oh, raid coming on. But to be honest, I don't think they've really got a chance. They're just going to hit this wall of traps, followed by a turret, followed by Craigsy and Hawk with their guns. I mean, it's just... Let's be honest, it's actually a slaughter now at this point. <laughs> For the time being, it's an absolute slaughter. So they're not coming straight at us, are they? No. I'll wait for them to make the first move, I think. Mine these bits out first. We got your decent weapons. We got lots of black armor and stuff, so it'd be good to get some of that. But in order to get that, we need them to not die instantly, which happens a lot. <laughs> All right. Orders are put them in position there, and then we can just pop out to the other side. One. Ah, oh. oh, so close. So close. When that rifle hit, that was it. I thought we had it. Please tame Baloo. Oh my god, Gregsy man. Greg, do you not see how well we do when we're not trying to tame Baloo? Look how well we're doing. Things are going so well right now. Why would you want to ruin that? Like, you know, getting a killer animal in the base. <laughs> but the temperature in here is actually doing right. Man, these floor mats are working wonders as well. Baloo plus 10 luck. <laughs> I don't think that's how the game works. That being said, since we lost our husky, I am open to getting a second pet. And I still will buy a bear if one comes up for sale. You know, we can sell stuff like the thrombo horn and the thrombo fur to even it out, so to speak. But yeah, so it, it's not off the cards. It still could happen. Right, so we're going to have to use different materials and stuff. So we could go for sandstone tiles here. Please tame, just try. Do we have a bear? Have you seen a bear? Is that what's triggered this? Have you seen a bear in the wildlife tab? No, you, you haven't. In fact, all the, uh, the animals here, we've only got three alpacas and a tortoise. That's it. All the other animals are dead. North. No, this is the wildlife tab, dude. This is literally... So the wildlife tab is everything that's on the map right now. So... Oh, we ran. Uh, okay, he must have run away during the combat. Sorry, buddy. All compacted steel. Otherwise, I totally was about to try that then for you. That was the... I'd have done that for you. I appreciate that you follow me and you keep coming back to watch these, and that means a lot, so... Yeah, next one. Is there heat wave over yet? No, it's still a heat wave. 51 degrees outside. Dualism, mortality, damn. 
Oh wait, no, it's actually it actually is twenty-one in here somehow. Hmm. Okay. Doing an insane job of. Where is that right now? If we uninstall a light and then build it again, will it use the lights from there? I mean, it should. But would it? Also, let's uh. Let's get some plant pots in there, shall we? Just uh. Right, beautify things up. Yep, that's even. Just make sure it's even. We're getting four plant pots. Look at that. How gorgeous is that going to be, eh? Beautiful. Some excellent plant pots right there. And a good one. I'm about to have another light sword. Damn. I see all the animals keep running away. All the heat waves over. Okay. Let's not hold A and door open, let's turn on the heater again. Man, it got so hot in these rooms. I think we've turned off the uh, Turned off sewing the heel root. I think we've got plenty of it coming through actually. We should have plenty of medicine from heel roots. Oh, up to 20, so it's not that great. That's, uh, in that case, let's keep going. Let's grab some more. 20 really isn't that great, and I don't know how to produce better medicine yet. So, how long have we been streaming for? Well, okay, a whopping 1 hour and 20 minutes. So, I am probably going to end this stream at around about the hour and a half mark. So, if there's anything, as I was, if there's anything you'd like to get in before the end of the stream, now is your chance to say it, basically. Anything at all you'd like to say, anything you'd like to put in there. This is it. This is your chance. If there's anything you'd like to get up, it'll go on the YouTube channel as well, so don't be don't be mean. But uh <laughs> is anything I'd say? This is it. I think we should start to open up this room as well soon. So we're gonna be copying this stockpile. Taming blue. Yep, yeah, taming blue will come at some point. Whether we tame one or we buy one, I will acquire for you a bear. That I will do. I hope that that's, that's enough. <laughs> How in depth can we go with this apparel? Oh, we can actually. So we can say, yeah, that's fine. you he's there. It's not right now. But it will happen. It will happen. Have no fear. It's a shame we've got to keep the rooms up here for now. And how many uh how many do some more blocks, can't we? Okay, we've got another raid to see off. Not too oh Molotovs, that's that does worry me, the Molotovs. Oh, and they're attacking immediately. There is no chill with these guys. I mean they're gonna walk into the same traps that the other guys walked into, so Let's just get behind this wall, and then as soon as they go through, it's pounce. Let's chase thighs. Where's the mad eye ram? That's okay. Hopefully, it goes after thighs first. Um, so we're gonna. Just allow that stuff to be moved. Um, here we go. She, the question is, she going up or down? She going down, right? No. Fine, go for the ram. Um, the snipe, the snipe rifle's so good. Just pull that back with you, buddy. Okay, so we did chase him down. We did get some of the weapons. Some of cocktails right in the open, but I think we can start to just go like that. Let's just open up this whole hauling area. I think to make this normal. And then eventually we'll make this one low priority, like that. 
as I said, what we're going to do is we're going to leave these fridges and storage areas going as backups. So we're not going to bother with the kitchens and stuff, but we'll leave these there. So that should we become over encumbered with food again, it's fine, we can still cook it down here and things. Speaking of which, wild boar, it's time to go. You're a bit of a drain on resources. There we go. Put him in there. Oh, we're just going straight for the slaughter. Lovely. Awesome. Ah, uh, there we go. This is going to get pretty already if we're putting some plant pots down. The idea is to get stuff like plant pots all over the place. So we can put them like there, we'll put them there. Again there. That doesn't, does that line up? It does, thank god, I was about to cry, that's fine. And then we'll put stuff like lamp, um, sorry, heaters in the middle. I know it gets cold underground before it gets hot. Okay, so we're closing in on five minutes left. We've got three minor break risks right now, which sucks. But I'm not too worried. I mean, the base is pretty, pretty functional. What are your needs right now? <clears throat> your mother died. Yes, that's going to suck. How long does that suck for? 22 days. Damn. Oh, did Care Killer die? Where's Care Killer? Where's Care Killer? Right, buddy. Oh, you're there. Okay, you, you okay? You're alive. You should probably go to bed. There you go. Mr. Cheese, your top priority is going to be for caring for Care Killer right now. Seeing as you are our best doctor. Okay, and we're going to make another, we're going to make this. Oh, we're going to copy basically one of those zones. So we're going to make one down here. Or the same thing, and then we're going to make this one low priority. Make this one low, so then we fill up this one first. Then every time we need to construct something, we've only got to go as far as there. And then it's only when we make them we have to do the trip. I think that's the best way of doing it. That's cool. So they've put one medicine actually on the end table. Ready for if we need them again. I'm pretty happy with that. Clever. Masterwork chest table right there. A poor jade game of uh, board. And a masterwork marble table. I'm really looking forward to bringing the marble table over with us, actually. That's going to be pride of place. Up, and it's going to be in this corner, so when you eat your food, you go to that table. That's, I think, the goal here. The other thing I was thinking of doing was we could actually give a two walkway around the outside. So, as an alternative to building in the middle. So if you've got the wall going there. There's the corner there. Don't know. So instead of putting this in the middle, and then we could just have a. That's five by four. That's five by four. So we could just have a single block, I think, or like a cross in there. Do you think that would be better? Or do you want to just go for the. what we've got at the moment? Don't know. Just something to think about for next time. More so for me than you, but I don't think we need a wall like that. We could just do a, a little three. Like that. Don't know. We'll see. Meanwhile, let's expand this storage zone. Like that. Let's go for a floor, so we've got plenty of sandstone in here. Let's go for some sandstone tiles. I mean... <laughs> Do you want to do that, or do we want to just go for wood? Ooh, I don't know. I don't know, something to talk about next time, I think. We really should start hauling these weapons, though. Just because they're worth so much money. Right, yeah, haul. 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 Name was Gucci. Let's haul Gucci. Oh, and don't forget whoever's doing that, Hawkman. Let's haul these out of the way as well. Like that. There we go, so actually dumping all the weapons and stuff in here now, which is quite cool. Let's 
so that with that we've hit the hour 30 mark and so that oh so that, that sucks and so that is where I'm actually going to call this episode today actually here's an idea why don't we put a passive cooler in there what is that how effective excuse me how effective is that not efficient enough to refrigerate food but would it help in a case like a heat wave hmm, I don't know hey Joe man So I think this is what we're going to call it here. We've made pretty good progress on the new base. We've got beautiful things going in. Literally just joined the stream. Yeah, thanks for watching everybody. See you later, Craig C. Craig C's doing okay, by the way. In-game Craig C. So, I will see you in a bit. So, I'll see all of you probably tomorrow night for a little bit. And if not, then Wednesday next week will be my next long stream or planned one. So I'll see you later. See you guys.